Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Black woman goes viral after saying about illegals what millions already thinking. A pro Trump black woman didn't hold back how she felt about illegal immigrants in sanctuary cities during a recent town hall meeting in Cudahy, California, and she echoed what many people are thinking. Sanctuary cities are racist, black communities have been destroyed by illegal immigration, the woman said. You want us to feel for your families but you don't feel for our families, she explained. Again, the black community has literally been destroyed by racist illegal immigration and we're not going to have it. When my people do a crime, they get three strikes. Your people do a crime, they get amnesty, they get benefits and they're not paying taxes. She continued, as the crowd cheered. Thank God for Trump, thank God for Sessions, and you should be ashamed of yourselves, how dare you? She said. The woman then cited IRS regulations that allow taxpayers in the United States to claim dependents living in Mexico, or Canada, while she couldn't even claim benefits for her family members who struggled in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. Publication 17 IRS they're allowing you people to claim people in Mexico, I can't even claim people in New Orleans when there was a flood. I couldn't claim my people, she complained. Take a look. She was referring to IRS Publication 17, pages 25 and 26. Many people agree with what this woman had to say. There are about 300 communities that fall under the category of sanctuary city and President Donald Trump has threatened to cut federal funding for such cities that prevent law enforcement from holding criminal illegal aliens for immigration authorities. Trump also promised that he would help inner cities by bringing back jobs that have gone to illegals. Democrats are going not going to like what this woman had to say because it doesn't fit into their narrative, but they might have a hard time trying to prove her wrong. Share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know if you support this woman's position. What do you think of this woman's passionate speech? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.